Hey guys, it's Roxy. Welcome to the snowbank. Yep, it's still snowing here on day 43 of our video blog challenge. I had to step outside, get a little bit of fresh air, as I always do every afternoon. Um, but part of our communications, um, and as you guys know, I work primarily on Facebook, but that is a very small portion of really what I do. Uh, the most important thing is knowing that social media is a way of doing our business, but it's not the only way, okay? And so I always ask when I'm working with new teammates, uh, new prospects, and new clients is, you know, when is a good time to talk? When can we get um, on the phone and when can we connect? You know, you make yourself a cup of tea and I'll meet you in the middle on a telephone. But there's so much fear sometimes when when people say have to go that way I mean it's easy to text it's easy to use Facebook Messenger um, but for some people and, and I'm not sure why but for some people getting on the phone is is a really scary thing and it's like but you know what you guys you know the Millennials have it so easy I mean back when I wanted to talk to somebody um, you know I had to pick up the phone and then I had to wait for a mom to you know go call somebody we didn't have the luxury you know and it was awkward sometimes or you want to talk to your boyfriend so you had to call them and then you had to wait for a parent to answer the phone and then pass the phone and then you know it's connected you know you can't just like walk with your cell phone to the bedroom privately or you know into the different room to communicate no you're stuck right here in the middle of talking to somebody um you know in public so you know, you guys now, I mean, there's so much more advantages in today's social communications. Um, and if I could get through all of those fears back then, I know you guys can too. So if you've done your preliminary work, if you have had your conversations and you know um, what your clients um, and your team prospects struggles are, what their needs are, what their dreams are, what their wants are for themselves and their family, then the conversation goes a lot easier. You know, if you're worried about rambling, you know, take some notes down first of all, make sure you write them down, um, making sure that uh, you, you're standing, you know, have some posture, you know, stand up straight and, you know, lower your shoulders. Take a couple deep breaths uh, to refocus and gather yourselves um, before you pick up the phone. The other thing is, is they have to hear your enthusiasm. They have to hear um, your communications, whether you um, talk with vibrancy and excitement and be able to ask lots of questions. If you're feeling like you're rambling, or you're stuttering um, and you're kind of lost, you know, pause for a second ask a question. Take control of that conversation again by asking another question, uh, being silent, listening, processing, um, and then, you know, gain, gain some control and some confidence back in your communications of where you're going. Um, and the last tip that I have, and it's not my personal tip, I'm not um, maybe encouraging you to do this, but I actually had a mentor at one time tell me, Roxanne, just go pour yourself a glass of wine. Go have a beer. You know, relax, take your notes, grab your posture, then pick up the phone. Anyway, um, haven't had to do that yet. Um, and always make it fun, you know, um, make it fun. If they have a joke um, or something funny, you know, share with reality and, uh, and laugh a little bit about life and you'll, uh, you'll be pleased about your results. Anyway, and practice makes perfect. It's true. Uh, as always, if you found value, please like, comment, and share. If you are looking um, for some Facebook helpful hints and want to jump in with us on our Mastery Boot Camp um, with the following blueprint, get a hold of me. Uh, welcome to join us on our, uh, on our boot camp.